and its terrific TV toys, and it is time for Series 5 from the Figures Toy Company line celebrating the 1966 Batman TV series. In this one, we've got two male figures and two female figures, although the female figures are actually the same female, it's just a little change of attire. So we will start with the two men figures and work our way up to the two females. This week, let's take a look at the Batman that's in Series 5 by Figures Toy Company. This is a variant. This is a Batman with removable cowl. And I have to admit, when I first saw this, I'm like, wait a second. Didn't they already do a Batman with removable cowl that I didn't get because I'm not a fan of variants? And I think it was Series 3 that they had a Batman variant and a Robin variant that I did not get. And so I had to go back to the Figures Toy Company website and take a look. And this is what they have right now as of press time. They've done series one, two, three, four, five now. And then they have the Villain Variant series, which I did not get. And then the Surf's Up Joker's Under series, which I do have that you saw in earlier episodes. But the series three had the Batman variant. And when I looked on here, I saw that it actually is a different head sculpt. And then the Robin variant is the one that has removable mask. So that was the confusion there. And so this Batman in Series 5 has actually a removable cowl. So there you go. Um, to assist me this week in taking a look at this Batman, I brought back my Series 1 Batman <laughs> that you saw in an earlier episode because I want to compare these side by side. And then I also have Mr. Bruce Wayne to help me out too and um, his Bruce Wayne head because I'm curious about that too once we get that cowl off of there. <laughs> All right, um, let's take a look at the packaging. Got different screenshots than seen in earlier versions. Got some action shots here. Here's Batman with the fire and what I'm sure is the bat fire extinguisher. And then um, some other stuff going on here. So interesting. And then when you flip it over, um, the familiar imagery that we've seen on the other figures from this set. Um, I really am wondering, okay, when are we going to see these cat women? I mean, come on. I've been loving re-watching the episodes lately, and I'm deep into season two right now, and I've seen quite a few Julie Newmar episodes, and she was just dynamite. She was so good. She was way good than I remember her being when I saw these episodes when I was younger. So come on, Figures Toy Company. Where? There's those cat women. <laughs> All right, let's take this guy out of the packaging. Let's unleash him from his captivity so we can take a closer look. This Batman variant. Yeah, I've been reloading all of these episodes as I've been watching them. I'm trying to hurry through now so that I can get to the season three premiere so that I can see Batgirl's first episode um, before I review those other, those two female figures from this set. So I can have that fresh in my mind. All right, here is Batman. Let's get out our other Batman too. And take a look at him close up. I'm sure everything is going to be the same except for the head. Okay. There's some detail there. Gloves. Looks like gloves and cape. Certainly the same. Really everything but... <clears throat> everything but the head. <laughs> you have to say it is um, tad more realistic to have that removable cowl. Huh, interesting, yeah. Um, oh, here's something that looks, that looks different, this belt. You know, I did notice on the um, Series 1 figure, oh yeah, this is a bear. I've noticed with that that the utility belt, it's like you really have to struggle to get it to stay latch. When you finally get it past this first notch here, there's not much of a tail, and it so easily comes undone, and then it's not really easy to put it back in. And I have to be careful because this rubber 
is a little bit fragile, but it looks like they changed the utility bell a little bit. Look at how it's got this so much of a tail here. And um, so that's better. It looks like it's it's well on. It's well on the last notch on it. So that's a difference. Yeah. Oh, oh, and um, oh, this is weird. Okay, so I'm seeing something else. <laughs> really down in the weeds here. Sorry about that. Uh, looks like there's two, I guess you'd call them like pouches for Batman to put stuff in on this side and two on that side. And then when you look at this newer one from Series 5, you've got three pouches. One, two, three on each side. Yeah, yeah. So the belt is a little bit different. The front of it's the same, but the rest of it's a little different. I can see too that, I mean, it's just a, a matter of probably the manufacturer or whatever, or maybe not. It looked like his emblem was off center on the newer one, but maybe it's not. <laughs> now it looks better, right? Okay, let's look at the cowl. <laughs> let's take his cape off. And it's like a helmet. Very carefully nudge it off and see what we got. Okay, all right, so it's just your typical flexible rubbery substance here. And hello, Mr. West. Let's get our Bruce Wayne over here. Um, well, here, I'll take them out, too. I can mess with my toys, but I will take them out. And we'll put them up side by side, just for the sake of comparison. That is the same exact head, right? Yeah, I'm sure. So, yeah, cool. Let's put his cowl back on now. No one else can know his secret identity. Don't tell anybody, okay? How's he going to fight crime otherwise? Put this cape back on. It's kind of tight around the neck. And a little tricky to get that clip on. There we go. All right, look out, villains. Batman is on the case. He is coming for you. I like how they make these capes with this sort of pipe cleaner effect, like wiring in here or something, so you can shape them a little bit. Never fear, citizens. I will get that Riddler. All right, so next week, Chief O'Hara.